My name is Tom Long, and I am a Presbyterian USA minister, uh, now retired, and I taught uh, preaching in several seminaries for over 40 years, most recently at Candler School of Theology at Emory University in Atlanta. We're thinking together about the practice called go tell. That's putting our faith into words and talking to other people about it. Some of that conversation takes place inside the church. When we are at worship, we talk to other people when we confess our faith and we talk to other people when we have conversation with them at coffee hour. Go tell doesn't just happen inside the church. It, it also means having the courage to go out into the world, into the marketplace, into our families and into our uh, neighborhoods and into our relationships. And there's the arena in which we talk. And that might feel like a fearful and maybe even a lonely task. But as a matter of fact, the whole world is already filled with the testimony to Christ and the praising of God. Uh, Psalm 19 says the heavens are already out there talking about it, uh, and the skies are singing uh, the praises of God's creation. The prophet Isaiah said the mountains are singing hymns, and the trees are clapping their leaves together in thanksgiving and, and praise. And there are also other Christians out there who in courageous ways are talking about their faith in the political arena, in the business arena, uh, in their own uh, homes and relationships. So we go out to join a chorus of witnesses, a cloud of witnesses who are doing this practice of going and telling. Now, I, I think of the sermon that happens in weekly worship as the kind of epicenter of go telling. It's uh, a person, a minister usually standing up and speaking uh, the good news for us. But that that's like throwing a rock into a pond and the ripples spread out from there and they go out into uh, all of life. By the way, uh, I think that's one of the reasons why it's important for preachers to talk in the pulpit like they want the rest of us to talk in the marketplace and in the world because that language in the sermon becomes the model language for us to use uh, when we do our own going and telling. Now, what do we tell out there? Well, we, we tell news, we tell good news. Uh, you may remember that Jesus started his own ministry when he preached at the synagogue in Nazareth by saying, I've come to tell the poor some good news. You know, poor people usually only get two kinds of news, bad news and worse. Well, Jesus had a different kind of news for them, good news. And that's what we do. We go out into the world and we encounter people who have heard only one kind of news, bad news. We, we talk to people who feel rejection. We talk to people who are suffering. We talk to people who have been pushed down by life, who have been rejected. And we tell them what we have discovered about ourselves, that God loves us, that God has acted on our behalf, that God includes us and welcomes us at the table of, of joy. <laughs> 